Gusto mo bang mag-abroad? Gusto mo bang magtrabaho dito sa Dubai o Abu Dhabi, UAE? Gusto mo bang malaman ang prosesong pagdadaanan mo dito sa UAE kapag nakapagtrabaho ka na? Kung oo ang sagot sa tanong na yan, then this video is perfect for you. Hello mga kabayan! Welcome back to my channel, The Pinay Abroad Vlog, The Kabayan Vlog version 2.0. I'm your Indie Vlogger ng Davao City na nandito pa rin po sa UAE. Perfect! Guys, for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang prosesong pagdadaanan mo kapag nakapagtrabaho ka na dito sa UAE. So, disclaimer lang guys, this is based on my own experience kung paano ko talaga pinagdaanan ang proseso ng pagtatrabaho dito sa ibang bansa, dito sa UAE. <laughs> So, guys, by the way, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lerma and I'm an OFW here in the UAE. And I make videos about getting a job here, how um, an OFW look like, OFW life look like here in the UAE, particular, particularly in Abu Dhabi because I'm in Abu Dhabi. So, if you're interested, guys, and you want to know more, please do click the subscribe button and the notification, notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga vlogs. And also, follow me in my social media accounts na rin guys please do follow me in my page as well in my facebook page para kasi i'm usually updating there as well in my videos so if you're without further ado pala let's start <laughs> First and foremost, guys, you have to make to be to you have to bear this in mind. Na dito sa UAE kapag nagturista ka, hindi ka pwede ng magtrabaho. May mga pasaway pa rin talaga na naggumagawa nun, but technically, guys, hindi talaga siya pwede. Kasi kapag nahuli kayo na wala kayong employ working visa or employment visa dito sa UAE at nagtrabaho kayo kung kung tourist yung uh, ano ba yan? kung tourist visa lang ang hawak nyo, then you will be in a big trouble, guys. So, don't do that para safe na rin kayo. Make sure na may employment visa kayo, working permit kayo, bago kayo mag-start ng trabaho dito sa UAE. And by the way, guys, there are employers na alam mo yun, pagtatrabahuin ka for like one or two weeks and Although binigyan ka na ng offer letter pero hindi ka pa nag-sign ng contract and wala ka pang hindi pa lumabas yung employment visa mo. May mga employer na ganun. So gagamitin lang yung visa mo para alam mo yun, hindi ka pala itutuloy sa trabaho. So you have to make sure guys that before you get the job or start like you, really, you start the job, you have the necessary documents talaga na magtrabaho. So make sure na hindi gagamitin nung mapanlin lang ng mga employer yung tourist visa mo para alam mo yun, ano sila, instead ng bumayad, magbayad sila ng ng empleyado para gawin itong mga ganito-ganito, pero ginamit ka lang pala nila kasi wala silang ibang empleyado ga, ga, gagawa ng mga, ga, ng mga bagay na yun. So, make sure guys na hindi kayo mabibiktima ng mga ganitong employer. So, yun na nga. Ito na yung process na pinagdaanan ko nung nagtrabaho na ako sa UAE. So, short story lang guys. Short story. So, nag-tourist ako dito nga sa UAE from Davao to Singapore, Singapore to Malaysia, and then Malaysia to Dubai yung flight ko. And then, nag-tourist ako dito for, I get a three-month uh, tourist visa. So, ang ginawa ko is, in, in my my job now as a call center agent, may hiring sila na, nag like massive hiring sila at that time. That was November 2016, if I'm not mistaken. And then, pumunta ako sa work, uh, I mean, sa walk-in interview. So, ito na nga yung process na pinagdaanan ko. Yung sa interview, guys, usually dito sa UAE, may mga initial interview talaga at then, um, final interview lang. Yung, you know, another set of interview. Yun talaga usually. Kaya, may, uh, may mga cases na kinokal ba kayo for final interview. Para nga yun, alam naman, uh, dito sa UAE guys, it's a very competitive job market. Kaya may mga ganong sort of uh, interviews talagang nangyayari. Kasi nga, usually na mga workers dito guys is expat. Like 70% of the workers here guys is ex expat. Iba-ibang lahing nationality yun siya. So iba-ibang skills then na you know that they can bring in the table. So you have to make sure that you are 
your CV is competitive talaga and when you are when you were invited in an interview guys you have to do your best kasi it's a very competitive market out there char market out there and guys if you haven't watched my video about how to organize your CV I will paste that one in the suggestion suggestion box below above or in the comment section below para ano naman description box pala para malaman niyo yan at saka mapanood no mapanood niyo after this video so nag walk in interview uh, first process na, na pinagdaanan ko is walk in interview nga so i went through an initial interview yung initial interview yung parang conversation lang na normal yung introduce yourself what is your current uh, what is your previous jobs ganun ganun so mga Gano mga mga basic na mga tanong lang yung mga sa initial interview usually. And then kapag nagustuhan ka nila, go, pupunta ka na sa uh, final screening or final interview. Usually, may may cases na for example, na invite ka ulit or may cases in my case actually, guys. Um it's the same day. So, my initial interview and then my final interview. By the way, sa initial interview, may ano kami, may parang sort of uh, ano kami, exam na ginawa. Hindi naman siya exam, but, you know, pinasagutan lang yung kung paano kayo mag-handle ng ganitong cases, how you respond to, the, respond to these emails. So, all those simple things lang naman. So, that is my initial interview. And then, the final interviews with the manager already. May mga cases siya na binigay sa akin, ano, Paano, siya, paano ko i-handle ang mga ganitong cases kapag nag-complain ng client. So, mga ganun. And then, after that interview, like few hours in the same day, um, I hope this will happen to you as well. On the same day, guys, nakatanggap na ako ng call na I got the job and then blah, 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 something like that. And then, um, the same day or a day after, I got the job offer. So, ang job offer, guys, job offer if you are not familiar ito na yung ano na gusto nilang parang i-congratulate na kanila nila na gusto, uh, parang i-onboard kanila nila dito sa job offer guys um may may nakalagay to anong position in offer magkano ang offer mga jobs and responsibilities mo kailan ka magre-report saan ka magre-report mga it's actually basically um like you know um general general ideas ng contract mo na, na parang summarize, ganun siya. But, contract is like, may mga, ano pa kasi ang contract, mga specific clause, may mga specific agreement. But, job offer is like, initial, ano lang siya, yung bibigyan ka ng initial idea kung ano yung trabaho mo, magkano ang offer ngayon na, sahod mo, and responsibilities mo. That's a job offer, guys. Now, guys, ito yung common mistake ng mga Pinoy dito sa UAE. Kapag may job offer na kayo, hindi ibig sabihin na sa inyo na talaga ang job unless na unless na unless na, na nakapirma na talaga ng contract at may um, employment visa na talaga kayo nakat natatak na talaga doon sa passport nyo yung uh, visa nyo working visa nyo hindi nyo wag kayong pakapante kasi nga kaya nang sinabi ko kanina may mga employers din talaga na ginagamit yung mga mga job applicants like for example o offeran lang nila pagtatrabahuin nila ng 1 or 2 weeks pero hindi pala yung parang oobserbahan kanila pero hindi pala hindi pala sila magogo through sa application mo okay lang naman yon for example a day or 2 days na oobserbahan kanila kung paano ka magtrabaho ano yung mga skills na mabibring mo sa company or you know um, what you can offer to the company but for a week or two guys it's a waste of time kasi nga mag uh, ano pa kayo magpapamasahe pa kayo yung time nyo and effort nyo para gumising instead of you know applying for other companies naman so maybe a two or a day or two it's fine but for a week or two weeks wag kayong pakapanti guys kahit na may job offer na hindi yun siya guarantee na makukuha niyo na niyo na ang job, ang trabaho so that's a tip from me talaga that is what i observe um kasi nga nangyari din sa akin yan but in my case like mga 5 days or something like that but i do not i did not go through as well kasi hindi na ako nag-report on the next day kasi nga i don't like the job and it's very long days na for five days or going to a week na na magtetest sila kung okay ba sila sa trabaho ko sa mga ano you know it's a waste of time so hindi na ako nag-go through to that employer and it's 
good decision din naman. Kasi ginamit lang ko for how many days, diba? So, di naman ako bayad nun. So, I did not inform them, by the way. Kasi wala naman din silang binigay ng offer letter sa akin. Sinabi lang nila na, oh, can you report for a couple of days para ma-observe nila ako. Which, I don't like that job na din naman. So, so after that, kumuha na ako ng, um, kinuha na nila yung mga copy ng pas yung passport ko. And then, kinuha na din nila yung attested diploma and copies of relevant certificates. Yung mga attested diploma ko, yung naka-red ribbon na siya. So, Guys, if you haven't watched my video kung ano yung mga documents na dinala ko papunta dito sa UAE, please do watch that. I will uh, put that one in the suggestion above and in the description box kasi ito talaga yung mga documents na dinala ko when I went here in the UAE. So, it will help you para alam mo yun, makumbal nyo na yung mga documents na kinakailangan nyo dalhin dito sa UAE. Just in case na ano, makap gusto mong yung magtrabaho dito sa UAE. So, yun na. And then, after that, after ko nang napasa yung, after a few days, like a week, I think, nag-contract signing na, and then, ano, make sure, guys, na yung, con yung job offer na nakuha nyo is, ano din talaga siya, yung, nag, same din talaga yung sa, sa contract, like for yung, yung, uh, yung agreement, yung amount, um, ano pa ba yung mga mga responsibilities nyo ganun um, you have to see these things although contract is a very parang madaming page siya but ano malon dapat i ano niya make sure talaga no, kung ano yung job offer na natanggap nyo is the same thing din yung nakastate doon sa contract kasi the contract is the legal document na panghahawakan nyo in case niya magka problema so make sure guys na you read it thoroughly before you sign your contract. So, after you sign your contract, guys, you still have to wait for a few days or a week, depende kung gaano kabilis lumabas yung um, con yung, ano mo, yung um, employment and or working permit mo. Before, guys, ang process na pinagdadaanan ng mga empleyado is that um, so mag-job offer sila, pero hindi, hindi makoconvert yung from tourist visa to employment visa. Kasi nga, before, kailangan mo pang mag-exit sa ibang country. Like, Oman, or, yeah, Oman yung usually in exitan But in my case, guys, 2016, may bago na silang process. So, pwede nang i-convert agad-agad yung from tourist to working permit, um, employment visa. Hindi na ako nag-exit. So, which is a good thing kasi kapag mag-exit, sa'yo pa yung, uh, sa'yo pa yung, sa'yo pa yung, yung, anon, bayad nun. Eh, paano kung hindi naman mag-go through yung employment yung application mo. I mean, you know, nag-change ng mind yung employer mo. So, dehado ka dun. So, it's a very good thing now that from tourist visa, pwede, pwede nang makonvert into employment visa. Hindi mo muna kailangan mag-exit. So, in my case, nag-wait pa ako ng about two weeks bago lumabas yung employment visa ko. And that was November 23 and then December 13 ako nag-start in my job. So, sa Pilipinas kasi, if I'm not mistaken ha, um, after you sign your contract, pwede ka na mag-start right away. Even if pinaprocess pa yung mga TIN mo and as something like that. But here in the UAE, kailangan pa kasi ng working permit. Kasi sa, man, sa Pilipinas, wala namang working working permit, ba? Kasi ano naman tayo dun? Citizen. But dito, kasi nga expat ka. So you have to have an employment visa, um, you know, permit to work. Hindi yung tourist visa. Kasi bawal talaga magtrabaho dito ang tourist visa. So just a tip guys, make sure yun na nga, make sure na yung job offer nyo is the same thing as na kung ano yung mga nasa contract. And then guys, kung wala kayong employment visa, huwag kayong magtrabaho. Kasi may mga employer na ginagamit yung tourist, yung mga days na remaining mo sa tourist um, visa mo para lang, alam mo yun, makabenepisyo. Ganun. May mga employer talagang ganun dito sa UA guys. So make sure na hindi kayo magbiktima ng mga ganitong employer. Huwag kayong magtrabaho. Huwag kayong pumayag na magtrabaho nang wala kayong employment visa. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys learned something. Learned something. By the way guys, if you are interested to know more about an OFW life here in the UAE and if you have any suggestions in my next videos, please hit me in the comment section box below and I will consider that suggestions. And also guys, please do 
click the not notification bell and subscribe button para updated kayo sa aking mga vlogs and follow niyo na din ako sa aking mga social media accounts which here pinay broad vlogs guys thank you so much for watching bye